Okay, so this is O Holy Night. It's an acapelago, acapelago, and Katrina Velarde. So, hey, listen, this should be interesting. And my name is Matt Criscuolo coming to you up close and personal. Sometimes maybe just a touch too personal. But we're going to be doing this. And this uh, came requested by a supporter of the channel named Roger Lack. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get right to it because I'm a big fan of Katrina Velarde. It's too bad that our, you know, love relationship didn't work out. But um, but I can still listen to her music. Anyway, let's get right to this, shall we?
That was so slick. That was so slick, man. You know, when I was listening to that, I was thinking of this group from the late 80s and 90s, probably from the 2000s too. They were called Take Six. I don't know if they're still out there singing, but there were six guys. And boy, they, they had a thing going on. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. Take Six. Um, and that is like actually uh, the name Take Six must be a, a take on the you know the great Dave Brubeck song called Take Five. Um, but yeah, D Take Six was a great group. And you know, for a second there, when I was watching this uh, this video, I thought that they were re recording that all standing around the one microphone, like the way Miles Davis recorded Kind of Blue, you know, without having them in booths separate with their own mics so that they can mix and edit and stuff like that. But then towards the end of the video, I noticed, you know, and I, maybe it was in the beginning, but I just happened to notice that towards the end that, you know, they did do that recording thing where they separated them out and put them in booths to a certain degree. Um, and that's how, you know, they were able to mix it down and make it sound that good. But, you know, I mean, there's something to be said about recording, you know, all without mixing and editing by just gathering around one microphone. But that must be tricky as hell with, you know, vocalists and six of them. I don't know. But I do know that what one of the things that made Miles Davis's record and the biggest selling jazz record probably of all time, Kind of Blue, that's the way he recorded it. He had John Coltrane and Cannonball Adderley and uh, and Miles Davis. They would gather around the one microphone and that's the way they, they played. They didn't, I don't think they had their own separate mics. So anyway, but yeah, this was really slick. I really enjoyed that. That was a great, great performance and lovely rendition and arrangement of this particular song, Oh Holy Night. I love listening to stuff that, you know, we've all heard before, but someone puts a different twist on it, their own personal touch. I couldn't help but thinking also to myself, hmm, can you imagine if Jacob Collier had arranged this? <laughs> Are you familiar with Jacob Collier? <laughs> Go check that cat out. He's got some incredible chops. I mean, compositional, arrangement, solo, you name it. The guy has got a lot of shit going on. He would have, you know, that's that would be nice, man. I wish that these people would, re you know, would, would reach out to somebody like Jacob and say, hey, you know, could we collaborate? Maybe they do, I don't know. But this was really something. I, I'm so glad that I got to listen to this. Wondering what you have to say about it, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way when I release another one of these videos, you can be made aware of it. It'll show up on your feed and you can say, hey, I might want to check this guy, Matt Criscuolo, out again and see what he's doing. What's he up to? And that way we can stay in touch. But, you know, definitely let me know if there's something you want to hear. Um, I'm here for you guys. Hey, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice. <laughs>